Hi, you're watching Chart House TV, and today we're going to take a closer look at the new AI Blade LED lights. So some of you may be familiar with AI or aqua illumination already. They're one of the most well-known and well-respected manufacturers of LED lights out there. And most of those LEDs are up and over pendant style lights that seem to have dominated the hobby for the last few years. And people have really started talking about the AI blade because there's something quite different. They are a strip light, if you like, that harks back to those kind of strip light days where people maybe had lights in a hood or, or actually a fluorescent bulb. So it's a real change. The Blade LEDs come in four different models. So you have the Grow, the Glow, the Refusion Light, and also a freshwater option. And the great thing about these as well, they come in seven different sizes. So from 12 inch, the small little unit there, all the way up to 66 inches. And each of these segments, so each 12 inch segment, has a maximum uh, wattage of 20 watts. And that's correspondent to how many sections there are, all the way up to the 66, which is actually seven of those modular units built into the one. Yeah, so what is different between the models, I guess? So the two main marine models are the Grow and the Glow. The Grow is designed to be the light that is kind of that classic blue and white mix. And, you know, the name suggests grow corals effectively. Now, the Glow is designed to make those fluorescence in your corals and fish really pop. So you can use them as a supplementary light alongside your existing lights, or you can use a mix of the two to actually give you a really full spectrum over your aquarium. The Refugium, again, as it suggests, is designed specifically for growing algae in a refugium and a real introduction to the range I guess which has happened before but is really being focused on now is a freshwater model which really opens up the market to anyone who's got a freshwater tank whether it's open topped or closed to have a really high-end strip light in their aquarium. So the question you're all asking is, why would I want to move away from my lights? Or if I'm looking to purchase new lights, what makes the AI blade different to what's available already? So one thing that really stands out with these lights and that AI have put a lot of production into is the edge optics. That means that you get a really um, even spread of light and you can have the uh, light itself really close to the water level. Yeah, so mounting is obviously something that needs to be considered here. So the smaller models come with these very, very slick acrylic slide out mount options, which means that, like Steve said, you get the light really close to your aquarium. And when you get to some of the larger models, they come with clips that are compatible with uh, AI's existing HMSA mounts. So you can have them either really tight to the aquarium on a suspension cable, or you can have them um, on an up and over like you would traditionally with a pendant light. But if you still want to maintain that kind of slick, low to the water level um, look, you can also buy a standalone mount, which mounts them just a few inches off the water level, but still much closer than a traditional pendant light, which really does give a very, very slick look. And another thing that you would sometimes worry about having your light mounted that closely to the water level is the water ingress or any issues with water. The great thing about these as well is they're IP66 water resistant. So hopefully that will mean that any splashes or, you know, it's not gonna give any trouble to the light. It's gonna be work fine in that condition. Another standout feature on these lights and something that I really appreciate is that they're a solid state light. There's no fan. So yeah. they're completely silent when they're running, which is a real benefit from light, especially if you have these on their own without any other uh, lights, you're not gonna get any noise at all. Yeah, so the whole top of the light actually is a heat sink. Yeah. So you can actually see how that would be called pretty efficiently. So what you're getting is a really slick and unobtrusive light, no noise, not really taking control of your aquarium and keeping your focus on what's in the tank as opposed to the equipment around it. If you're using these to light your tank as your sole lighting, you might use one depending on the depth of your aquarium, or you might use multiple to give you the exact desired output. But also these can be used as supplementary lights. So just touching on the mounting, there will be mounting available for supplementary lighting. So you might already have existing AI lights or maybe Ecotech lights or some other brands, and there will be mounting options that you can add those to. Now they've also got on the end, they've included a threaded bolt hole, so for an M8 screw, which means that if you really wanted to go down the route, the flexibility is there to completely customize some mounting and create exactly what you want. So each model of the Blade AI light um, has a different color spectrum or a different LED color mix. And these are all controlled by either the Mobius app or the My AI app. 
Um, this connects or the light connects directly to that via Bluetooth on your phone or mobile device. Um, and the great thing about that is that you can either go onto the app and use the presets that are already installed, or you've got a fully customizable uh, program on there. So you can set up your sunrise, your sunset, as well as the color spectrums throughout that day period as well. Yeah, exactly. So what we're really with the whole package is offering is something that looks very good and is obviously very controllable and allows you to be very flexible in the color spectrum that you want to have over your aquarium, whether that's supplementary or the sole lighting. And one really big point is that they're quite affordable compared certainly to the pendant style lights that you might see on the market. So the smallest model, this kind of 12 inch size, starts at around 145 pound, depending on which spectrum light you're going for, all the way up to about 600 pound for the largest model. So even if you need more than one, depending on the depth front to back of your aquarium, you're still looking at a really cost-effective light, certainly for a high-end light with this kind of output and par reading. They're available now on the website, so if you want any more information Information, make sure you head over there or feel free to get in touch via the comments down below in this video or give us a call or an email to our customer service team and we'd be more than happy to help. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.